Hello, I'm Knox from Horizon 3, and I'm excited to be sharing with you our new feature, Endpoint Security Effectiveness. And uh, we've added this feature recently. It's really great to be able to see how your EDR is doing against uh, different threats that are out there. Remember, we act as a threat actor in your environment, and if we're able to land that rat on your machine, then uh, we are going head-to-head -head with that EDR. And so we can spar with that EDR and see how it's doing and if it's tuned correctly. So we're going to walk through an attack path. And then we're going to jump through once we see the rat hit the uh, domain controller in this case. We'll look at what the rat was able to accomplish. And it's pretty fascinating. So let's go ahead and look over here on the left. We now have threat actor intelligence as well in the platform. So I'm going to focus here on Black Basta. And there it is. And we're going to focus on Print Nightmare. And we're going to look at the Host Compromise tab. Okay, so these are the, there were 256 paths to Host Compromise. And we're going to go to that impact type. Now, I'm going to paste the IP in here because uh, that was a lot of weaknesses. And that's going to help us to uh, narrow it down here to the one I want, which is this uh, 4.19. And we're looking for the Print Nightmare. And here it is. There's 4.19. And here's the Print Nightmare path. So let's click on this. Now we're going to get to, this is our attack map area of the uh, console. We can see here the print nightmare CVE was the one that was leveraged in this attack. Over here, we've got the standard narrative that we see and we click to the proof, which is always great. We always give you the timestamp and the command and the output of every step in the attack path. And so we see that crack map exec was able to grab some hashes and then from there, we were able to go straight to deploying the rat. And let's go down and take a look at that. So down here in the attack map, uh, it was pretty quick. Node Zero was able to discover some credentials in SMB. They were clear text. And that allowed it to immediately log into a domain controller. Once it logs into this domain controller, it sees that this particular machine is vulnerable to Print Nightmare. And we see that this is also a known TTP of Black Basta and Conti. We scroll down here, you can see that again down here, those threat actors. You can see the MITRE attack framework that it relates to. And so we have a compromise of this machine. Now, the rat has been landed on this machine. So now let's go over here to the EDR tab. And we are going to, again, search for this particular machine because the rat has landed. And so now we're able to see what the rat was able to accomplish on this machine. So let's look. Uh, we can see here that this particular machine had Microsoft Defender on it. We can see that there were 26 permitted actions. That's pretty crazy. And out of 26 that it tried. So in this case, I have a feeling that either Defender was somehow turned off or probably... Uh, the settings had been uh, somehow reduced, but somehow it was really able to get a lot done on this machine. So let's click on it here and we'll start looking at the actions that the EDR was able to, uh, what the, that our rat was able to pull off. So let's click in here. There's the EDR tab and we'll start looking at what uh, actions the rat was able to perform against the EDR. So the first thing the rat did, and this is not necessarily in chronological order here, but it, it did enumerate the processes, which uh, is important. It wants to know what's on that machine. It implanted the rat via SMB, so it's trying to kind of spread itself a little more. Uh, let's see, what else did it do here? In this particular case, it was pilfering files. We could click on here, and we can see that the rat just did that. It just says rat.sh. Uh, but if we go ahead and click on the view data over here, we can see that here are the files that the rat was able to access. Oh man, there's some AWS credentials. That's, that's not good. So the rat was able to lift credentials out of the machine. Let's go back. And from there, where were we at? Right here, pilfering files. Oh, look right there. And immediately after the AWS credentials were, were pilfered, the rat pivots to doing some AWS metadata. Uh, it must have found some Azure creds in there as well. Wow. So uh, the rat was really able to accomplish a lot on this machine. 
And as we look at these different things, it's it's just interesting to see. Remember, Node Zero is not here to try to uh, bash on your uh, EDR system. Uh, what we're trying to do is we know that you've spent a lot of money on your EDR and you need a good way to be able to verify that the policies that you have in place are the correct policies. A lot of times an EDR gets installed and it has its default out of the box policies, but teams are sometimes hesitant to know how they need to tune it to which policies they need to turn on. And Node Zero provides this great insight into knowing which policies uh, need to be added to your EDR system to be able to block these real world uh, actions that our rat is trying to perform. So we'll leave it at that today, uh, but I just wanted to be able to show you um, how this works with our system as it stands today and to be able to show you just the really uh, valuable insights that our uh, endpoint security effectiveness adds to Node Zero. Thanks for listening.